Hello everyone, this is me Arijit with a new video and in this video I'm going to see how you can convert a uh, text to speech in your Raspberry Pi. And we are going to use a tool called eSpeak and also we are going to see how you can use this tool in Python 2 so that you can like maybe you are writing a Python code and you want a text to speech there so that you can use that. And also you will look different option in eSpeak so that you can actually tweak the voice. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing is whenever we are converting from text to speech, we must have some kind of output device connected with our Pi so that actually we can play the speech. So for example, we must have some kind of speaker or headphone connected with the Pi. Now in case of Pi 3 or 4 is not a problem as we can simply connect like speakers which have 3.5mm uh, audio jack or also like speakers which works on USBs. Simply you can connect them. But if you have a Raspberry Pi 0, in that case it will be hard for you because it doesn't have one of those. Uh, audio jacks. So in that case what you can do? In that case you can simply connect one of these OTG cables and you have to connect the OTG cable here exactly in this USB because uh, it is actually USB and it is only for power. So don't connect the OTG cable here like you have to connect it in this USB. And then with this OTG device you can simply connect a sound card uh, which looks something like this which have a USB in this side and this side you have to like this 3.5 mm female jacks uh, where in one of the one of the jacks you can connect a mic in another one you can connect a speaker okay now if you simply connect this thing with it then you are done now you can simply connect a, a 3.5 mm like a, a speaker which have a 3.5 mm jack in this uh, sound card and then it will work just fine okay so in this way you can uh, connect a speaker with your raspberry pi 3 4 or 0 uh, doesn't matter which, whichever raspberry pi you have you can work with it so now let's go to the PC and see how you can uh, like install eSpeak and how we can use that with the speaker. Okay, so the first thing is we have to get into our Pi and for that I am going to use Putty here uh, as we don't need the display here. So after you will get into your Pi, the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, install eSpeak and for that you need to write sudo uh, apt get install. Uh, eSpeak. Oh, sorry. And within very few seconds, eSpeak will be installed. Okay, so in my case, it already has been installed. Okay, now if you are using, like you are going to use the uh, audio in your Raspberry Pi for the first time, and maybe you are going to use the 3.5 mm jack for the first time, in that case, you need to do a few things. You need to write sudo raspi config. And then you go to here and from there you have to go to advanced options from there you go to audio and in audio you are going to get three options auto force 3.5 mm headphone jack and force hdmi in my case like i said i am going to use my 3.5 mm HD, uh, headphone jack so you just click here and then you click finish okay and it will be done now we are ready to use esp and the thing I need to mention, if you uh, just want to like control the volume, maybe increase it or decrease it, you can simply write Alsa Mixer. Okay, sorry, Alsa Mixer. And if you see, you are going to get this volume bar. If you just use the down arrow, it is going to decrease the volume. If you are going to use the up arrow, it is going to increase the volume. Okay, in this way, you can just control the volume from here. Okay, now how to use ESP? Now you just need to write eSpeak and then you simply have to write the text you want to convert to speech. In my case, let's say, hello world. Okay. Hello world. So as you can see, it is as simple as that. Now we have few other options or you can say few other features in eSpeak. For example, let's say I have a text file called a.txt inside I have written, uh, let's say, hello people. Okay, something like that. And now, if I just want to read that file, what I need to write is I will write simply eSpeak and then I will use a F flag and then finally I will write a.txt. Hello, people. And now, as you can see, it is in the text file. So, if you have a very big text file and you just want to convert that to uh, speech, in that case, uh, you can use this feature. Now, the second thing is uh, we can actually uh, control the amplitude okay so if you simply use a flag and then the, amp the default amplitude is 100 
but it can range up to 0 to 200. So if I simply write 50 here, as you can see the amplitude is pretty low and if I use 200 here, Hello world. so as you can see it's too high, it is the highest amplitude we have. Now second we have pitch, we can control the pitch of the voice. So by the default it is 50, uh, but it can be from 0 to uh, 99. So let's see if I write here uh, maybe 80. Hello world. You can see it is a little bit, the voice is a little bit different. And now if I just use maybe 20 here, Hello world. Uh, as you can see the voice is different. So you can control the pitch too. Now this is a very important feature and useful which is speed. Okay. So you can control the speed of your words. So basically it is the word per minute. Okay. So let's say I want to just read uh, maybe 50 words per minute. Okay. In that case, I can simply write uh, in this way. Hello world. And as you can see, it's pretty slow. Okay. By default, the value is 175. And now if I just make it maybe 300. Hello world. As you can see, it's too fast. So in this way, you can control the speed of uh, your words. Like you can say words per minute. Okay. So uh, then what we have is we also have word gap, which is how much uh, gap you want. So you can simply write G here and then you can uh, maybe, sorry, G. And then here you can write a value like 20. Hello world. You can see the gap has, gap gap is like different here. And if I just make it five. Hello world. As you can see. So in this way you can change the uh, word gap actually. Okay. So uh, there are many other options also here, but like I'm not going to cover every option, just going to cover the important options here. So there is one uh, another option, which is not that useful, but it's kind, uh, you can say funny that like you can, uh, let's say in our word, as you can see uh, in hello, H is capital, in world W is capital. So if we use a K flag here, and if we write two here, in that case, what will happen? Whenever you speak, we'll read this word. Whenever it will find a capital word, uh, capital like capital word here, like capital letter. In that case, it is going to say capital. So here, capital, hello, capital world. As you can see, this is how it works. Now, uh, I don't know if it is really useful, but yeah. Okay. So then uh, we can use different voices in you speak, which is really useful. Okay. So though, though like there are not uh, large, like you can say a large difference there, but yeah, you can use different voices. For example, if you write E speak hello world V A F plus three, something like this. Very important. As you can see, the voice is a little bit different. And uh, now, uh, if we just write here, uh, maybe I don't know V A F plus uh, M five. Very important. As you can see, it's different. And now, if you want to use a female voice, you can use something like maybe F three. Very important. Okay, something like this. Okay, so I will give you a whole like list of all these voices and things like that at the end. So the link where you can find all this, don't worry. Now also you can actually save the recording in a WAV file by just using this W format and you can write maybe a.wav, something like that. In that case, the whole speech will be recorded in that a.wav file. Okay. And uh, except that also uh, we have many other things like uh, for example, there are some, now these are the default voices. So if you simply write e-speak and then if you write voices, you are going to get a list of voices. Okay. And then if you simply write e-speak, maybe hello world and then v and then here, uh, this is the uh, file name of the voice. So if you just copy any of the file name, let's say Asia MA and you, if you just paste the voice name after v flag. Hello world. You see the like the voice is different. Okay, and uh, let's just try another one from the maybe uh, Europe HR. Okay. Hello. As you can see, the voices are different. So in this way, you can use different voices. Now, by the way, these are default voices. You can download other voices also. So if you go to the official website of ESP you are going to get some other voices, and those voices are pretty cool. So you can download those voices and you can use them. Okay. Oh, okay. Now another thing just I want to mention here, like how you can use eSpeak in Python. Let's say you are writing a code and you just want to use eSpeak in Python. How you can do that? Uh, there are some Python like libraries to use eSpeak, but I generally don't use them. Like I personally like in this way. So let's say we have a file called a.py in Python and uh, you can simply call OS 
library so import os and from that you can write os.system and inside that you can actually write any speak command is e speak and then let's say okay uh, let's say hello world something like this and then if you just save it and you run this file let's say python ca.py hello world as you can see it is working just fine I, and we haven't installed any python library okay so in this way inside this os.system you can write any speak command and it will work just fine so even if i just write here speed 500 uh sorry uh speed okay sorry 500 and in again i save it you see now okay. as you can see it is working so in this way you can also use it in python okay now you can get all these options so uh, in this website which is the official website of eSpeak so like how to install it and all the options like how you can tweak the voice like how you can download different voices how you can use them everything is in this uh in this website so i will give the link of this site in the description so that you can use it so this is all about this video guys i hope you have liked it and thank you for watching so stay tuned and uh, see you in the next video